Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandler everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. Ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? Splendid! There is another device you will need. I've hidden it inside the Bugwatch Tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Ah, what a... Ah, chum, I have such a craving for Quooky, although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right, return to me for the next phase of the plan. Ah, chum, why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be Quookies, so that I may taste my own teeth, you see. Ooh. <laughs> Splendid! I no longer have to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for Charmallows. Can't ever have enough Charmallows. <laughs> Charmallows! Oh. Ah. <laughs> give off an unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the grumble. Naughty surveillance system, though I'm not yet sure how. Their signal should be safely contained inside my... Stop. Radio working? Let's put some jams on! Yeah, this is not now. The radio is... broken. <laughs> With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Hmm. The sky seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Whoa. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro. If I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, uh, what the grump? Here it comes! <gasps> what expert hugging that is. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait. town, bro. Chandlo. Popsicle, 
Tactical Fox Are we just follow Papa's pointer? Or or don't. That's fine too. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe. Maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwe the ropes. What do you say? Alrighty! Now just use Sprout to lead Charwe back to my barn. Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, we love you, Papa. 
Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. But that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Here's to a hard day. Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack? Like a spuddy. I got a plan. Nothing like a campfire. That's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Philbo. Then, hole up by the outhouse for a spell. You know, uh, night soil, waste, spud cruds. Woo, it's chilly tonight, huh? Goodbye. Bye. Find the other grumpuses. Every time I go home, all my stuff is moved around, and there are new paw prints on the floor. I'm starting to think maybe ghosts are real. Have a good one. To a hard day's work. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions. <laughs> Chandlo Funk Bun, I lift. It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls. Snorpy, I'll get him there. If I want to push my limits, I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. She was always pushing herself way harder. Yeah, she asked me to train her. Surprised the grump out of me, cause she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up, and I respect that. I wish I could tell you, those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there, somewhere. Bro, that's not just dope. Anyway, I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. Maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. I can't have my secrets plastered all over the front page news. Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Mean. And I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. 
Well, I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan- Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. It would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Let me show you my charts later. I was too exposed. Floofty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinotti's plot against me. Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wit and chat. Redacted. Blow and arm wrestling. We would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island and came to me for help. An entrance to the underground, locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Till next time. Looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But they trust you, right, Bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. Strong enough to get 
catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but I've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. No, oh, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her, and that starts with me. Yeah, I get that. I will get you there. Thanks, Chandler. And, uh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Floofy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that grumpus. Floofy's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiments, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine, so why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Mel. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life, and you're just upset because it doesn't involve you! I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofty. Maybe I will. Bopsicle! 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 B
Popsicle! Pop popsicle! Pop, 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 popsicle! Pop, pop! Popsicle!
popsicle. Pop, 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 popsicle. Popsicle. Hey, how's the journey?
Sweet relief. These things better not melt off. Anyway, a deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, and so you know, Cromdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. Hey, if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Cromdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, um, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all your snooping around. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me. As long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you gonna buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Whambus, you heartless monster! Stop burying the little ones! Do you mind your own business? Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant. And that's not gonna work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will! That's not for me. No. Buddy. 
Daddy. Oh. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, thanks for the gift, buddy. Though suddenly I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. 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 I Ooh, wee! That stink could raise the dead. 